Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes empties and all of the products that I used up for the month. So today, today we're focusing on this overstuffed, look at all of that, empties for the month of June. This entire basket is every product I used up in June. So if you're excited to see all my empties, get a speed review and I'll let you know whether or not I would repurchase these products. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do an empties every single month and I upload lots and lots of new videos every week. Check out the description box down below where I will link everything I share with you today, all of my favorite beauty subscription boxes, the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you'd like to recreate this look, and of course, come on over, follow me on TikTok for more beauty on a budget. We have a huge basket of empties, so let's jump in. Like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you everything I used up for the month of June, kind of a quick speed review, and I'll let you know whether or not I would repurchase or some of these products I've already repurchased. First is from the brand Outra, and this is a CBD 8-in-1 leave-in conditioner. Now, I got this in a subscription box. It smells amazing. It smells so good. It's fresh and fruity. I love this. Love this. What I would do with this is focus it mainly on my roots because I put other products in this portion of my hair and I would use this as that leave-in conditioner for my roots. It works really, really well. It's very hydrating, moisturizing, and like I said, it smells incredible. I would definitely buy this again. In fact, when I used it up a couple days ago, I was pretty sad because I really, really enjoyed this product. Next is from the brand First Aid Beauty, and these are the Facial Radiance Pads. I love these. These are such great makeup removing pads. So what I would do is I would cleanse my face and then I would go in with these facial radiance pads. One side of the pad has exfoliating, has an exfoliator and the other side of the pad is a little bit more smooth. So I would run the exfoliating side over my face first, flip it over, use the smoother side. It just cleaned my face really well and left my face feeling really fresh. I really, really enjoy these. And yes, I'll definitely be buying them again. I used up lots of lashes this month. In fact, I think there's a few more in my basket here. First, I used these lashes from the brand Lorella. And these are the, what's the name of these? Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, these are the Maldives lashes. These are really, really pretty. Very, very full. Added a lot of volume to my lashes. I also used up these lashes from AO which is that dollar makeup brand. These were okay. The band on these is really, really thin, so it was hard for me to actually get the glue on and apply them to my lashes. And then you already know that I love the Amazon lashes. Love, love, love them. I'll definitely link them down below. You get like 30 pairs of lashes and I don't know, six different styles for $20. And they're really, really good quality. So I used these ones as well. Here's a couple more. I have Cami lashes from my Lashy Box subscription and another pair of the Amazon lashes. I used up my huge, huge bottle of my Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser. Million, million out of 10. This is the best makeup cleanser ever. Your brushes come out sparkling clean without a lot of work, and it dries instantly. I mean, it is incredible how well this cleans your makeup brushes. Even face brushes that have a lot of caked up bronzer, powder, foundation, blush, it cleans them perfectly. I love this product so much. I've actually already repurchased it. It is a little bit pricey, but it is well worth it because a little goes a long way. It cleans your brushes perfectly and it dries instantly. I use this facial cleanser from the brand MAD or M-A-D. This is the Glycolic Age Diffusing Cleanser. Now I got this in a subscription box. It's okay. I didn't love the smell of it. And I also found that when I washed my face, if any of it got on my lips, I would get the taste of it in my mouth, which is not yummy. So I probably wouldn't purchase this again. I have other facial cleansers that I like a lot better, but I did finish it up and I did find that it did clean my skin really well. Another one of my favorite products is from the brand Sephora and this is their eye makeup remover. This works really well. It is a little bit more expensive than drugstore, but it's about twice the size. This will last me months and months and months and it cleans my eye makeup off 
really, really well. I've already repurchased it. I'm on a new bottle right now. I highly, highly recommend this. From, Bra from Bath & Body Works, I used up their warm vanilla sugar. This is the moisturizing body wash. So this is the one that's a little bit more like a lotion consistency. It smells so good. It's very sweet and vanilla-y. My husband actually got this for me for Christmas. I know. I know. It took me a while to use it up and to even start using it after the holidays, but I do enjoy their moisturizing body washes because I feel like it leaves my skin feeling really soft and hydrated. So I definitely would buy this again. In fact, I've purchased other scents already from Bath and Body Works. One of the mascaras that pleasantly surprised me that quickly became a favorite is from Tarte, and this is their Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I love this mascara. I got this in a beauty subscription box and I don't love a lot of Tarte products, to be honest with you. I find that the brand is really, really hit and miss. I wasn't excited about this. I actually had used a Tarte mascara that was in my favorites last month that I hated, but this one, I love it. I love how volumizing it is. I love the brush. The brush is a nice full brush, which is my favorite. I really enjoyed this mascara and absolutely, absolutely would buy it again and highly recommend. Another makeup product that I finished is actually brand new to the Ofra line and this is their liquid highlighter. Now I'll tell you about this. When I purchased this, I was originally going to use it for highlight as a liquid highlight on my face. I hated it as highlighter hated it. It immediately picked up all of my makeup underneath. Now that could have been my fault. I actually applied this to my already set powdered face and usually liquid should go on creams, creams should go on creams. So maybe if I would have used this under my powder, it wouldn't have picked up the makeup underneath, but that's not what I do with highlighter. I usually always apply highlighter after I've set my face. But what I love this for as a liquid illuminizer. So I would mix this in with my foundation and it would just give my face this really, really stunning, pretty glow. So I ended up falling in love with this and actually I would buy this again as a liquid illuminizer, not as a liquid highlight. From the brand Pharmacy, I used the Sweet Apple Cleansing Balm. This is another product that smells so good. It comes with a little spatula and it is a makeup removing balm. I love the pharmacy makeup removing balm. Right now I'm using the Clean Greens one. I loved this. I love the apple smell of it. It cleaned my makeup off so well. Whenever I use a cleansing balm, I always double cleanse after removing my makeup with the balm, with a facial cleanser. But this did such a good job that there was very little makeup left on my face to cleanse off. And I find that that is the type of cleansing balm that I like to lean towards. One that makes my face feel nice and clean. Definitely real repurchase. Already using another pharmacy cleansing balm. Definitely, definitely get your hands on this if you want a really good quality cleansing balm. Four more pairs of used lashes. Now I have a lot of lashes, so this is really good. Another pair from my Lashy Box subscription. These are the All Allure Lashes. Lashy Box is a great beauty subscription if you love lashes. I'll definitely link it down below for you. I have this set of lashes from the Venom line from BH Cosmetics. These are actually really, really pretty. I loved how spiky they were. They added a lot of length to my natural lashes. And then from Zola Lashes, also that came in my Lashy Box are the Mari Lashes. Love Zola Lashes. And last but not least, as you know, these are one of my very favorite lashes. These are from the brand Ioni and these are Dollar Tree Lashes. Dollar Tree Lashes. They are some of the best lashes you can get your hands on. Every time I go to Dollar Tree, I always buy one or two pairs. Even though I have a lot of lashes, I love these. These are my all time favorite lashes. These and the ones from Amazon are the ones I reach for the most. From the brand Soap and Glory, this is the Heal Genius Foot Cream. I love this foot cream. I put moisturizer on my feet every night. That way my feet get nice and hydrated. And when I go for a pedicure once, once a month, Jeremy, the guy who does my pedicure is always like, you have the softest feet. It's this, this works really well if you have dry feet or if you just want to add extra moisture moisture and hydration. It's really affordable. I'm using another one right now. I always rebuy this. I buy mine at Ulta and I think it's less than $10 and you only need about a dime size amount to do both of your feet. I love, love, love this product. I finished another Dossier fragrance. You know I love Dossier. This is the Oriental oak moss perfume, but Dossier basically replicates high-end fragrances for like $29 to $39 a bottle. This one smells 
so good. I'm pretty, I thought this was maybe a Juliet has a gun. I love their fragrance. I find that they smell very similar to the high-end fragrance. You do have to reapply throughout the day. So the staying power isn't as well as the high-end fragrance, but it's so affordable that it's really not a big deal if you have to reapply during the day. But I do love Dossier. I have several, several of their perfumes. I will link them down below with 10% off for you. Another first aid beauty product. This is their Ultra Repair hand cream. I love these little hand creams. They always sit here on my desk so that I can apply lotion when I'm working. I love the Ultra Repair Cream. It's great for dry areas or troubled spots. Uh, my elbows get really dry, so I love the Ultra Repair Cream for that. And this small little this small little travel size one, again, I keep it on my desk and it comes in really handy. I also keep these small ones in my purse. Speaking of Ultra Repair Cream, I used up the large size as well. I am currently on another one of these. Again, I like to use this as my moisturizing lotion before I go to bed. So I put it all over my body, especially my knees and my elbows. It is very, very hydrating. It's great if you have eczema or really dry spots on your skin. And yes, I would repurchase. I actually have a second one that I'm currently about halfway through. A couple more perfumes. First, I have the Victor and Rolf perfume, the flower bomb. This was a sample that came from Glass Glossy Box. I really like this scent. It is musky, but kind of floral at the same time. So I really liked that one. And then this little sample is also Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb, but it's the Ruby one. This one I don't love as much as this one. Honestly, I probably wouldn't purchase the full size of either of these, but I enjoyed this one a little bit more than this one. From Ulta Beauty, this is the Winter Vanilla Lip Scrub. This is a great lip scrub. Not only does it smell really yummy and lots of vanilla scent to it, it tastes really good. I know you're not supposed to eat lip scrub, but it ends up on your lips, ends up in your mouth. Did a great job of exfoliating my lips. This came in one of the little Ulta advent calendars at Christmas time, and I just finished it up. That's how long it lasted. And I usually keep this in my shower. That's generally where I'll exfoliate my lips. I really, really liked this. From the brand Living Proof, this is their dry shampoo. This is a fantastic dry shampoo. It does not leave a white cast and you can see that I have pretty dark hair, pretty dark roots. It didn't leave any white cast. It really soaked up any oil, any product, made my hair feel nice and refreshed and it has a really pleasant scent to it, a very clean, fresh scent. I actually have already repurchased this. It's the dry shampoo I'm using once again. I really enjoy this. The Vita Bread C12 Moisturizing Vitamin C Serum. This is a wrinkle serum. This is an amazing, amazing product. It virtually has no scent and it is a vitamin C serum that helps fight aging. So I use vitamin C serum every morning on my skin. My skin loves vitamin C serum and I really enjoyed this one. I noticed immediate results with the with skin tightening and those wrinkles and just adding hydration to my skin. The packaging of this is so nice. I would 100% repurchase. And Olaplex number six bond repair smoother. I love Olaplex. It is the hair products that I primarily use on my hair. I have noticed my hair has become much, much healthier and less dry and frizzy since using Olaplex products. And the number six smoother is one that I apply to my freshly washed hair. I use this and the Olaplex oil together, mix them up in my hands, and I apply them from about my roots down and really focusing on the ends. And it adds all the hydration I could ever need into my hair. And it also serves as a great heat protector when you go to style your hair from the shower. I really really like this product. I've already repurchased this. I recommend this paired with the oil. So I'll link the oil down below for you as well. And again, mix the two together, put in your hair, chef's kiss. This is another product I love. This is from the brand Sunday Riley, and this is their lighthearted broad spectrum SPF 30 facial sunscreen. I was sad when this emptied out as well. It actually lasted a very long time. When I first got it, I was like, that is a tiny container. It is not an inexpensive product. I mean, it's not a luxury price product, but it's kind of falls somewhere in the middle. And I was like, that is tiny. That is tiny. This lasted me months and months and months. And I live in Arizona. It's sunny here every day. I use sunscreen on my face 
every single day. And this one I love. It adds a pretty glow to your skin. So if you don't wear makeup or you want a no makeup, makeup kind of look, it definitely adds a pretty shimmer. It adds a pretty glow to your face, kind of a glow from within. And it's a great sunscreen to layer under makeup. I love it. I love it. I'm already re I've already repurchased and I'm currently continuing to use. Let's talk about a few more makeup products that I finished. First, starting with this liquid or this cream blush. This is from the brand VC Cosmetics. Now I received this in a subscription box. It is a kind of orangey terracotta cream blush. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. I love a good orange blush. I'm actually wearing an orangey colored blush today and I love cream products. For, for me being in my mid forties, cream products just sit on my skin better. They don't show my texture. They don't show any fine lines and wrinkles. And this was a great cream blush. I really liked it. It actually came as a two pack, this color, and then another kind of peachy pink color that I'm continuing to use. But I have about 40 cream blushes. So if this is gone, you know I like it. I have two black liquid liners that I finished. Way to go, Jen, finishing two liquid liners in one month. First one is from AOA, which is that dollar makeup brand from Shop Miss A. This is an amazing liquid liner. It is a felt tip liner. That's my preferred type of liner. This one I love. I would absolutely buy this again. I have a full face of AOA makeup video here on my channel. I mean, we're talking dollar makeup and most of it is out of this world. I love the liner. I would definitely buy it again. And then this liner, I don't even know what brand this is. I'm pretty sure this came in a subscription box. Again, it is a felt tip liquid liner. I really liked this product as well. I don't know what brand it is, so I can't repurchase it, but I will say that I don't like to spend a lot of money on felt tip liquid liners because I feel like most of them do the job. I love the AOA one. I love the LA colors from the Dollar Tree. So because I don't know what brand it is and because I just like cheap liquid liner, I probably wouldn't repurchase this one. I also finished the ABH or the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is the brow pencil. This is just a small kind of sample sized one. I really like this product. This is a great, great brow product. One end is a spoolie and the other end is the actual brow pencil. I enjoyed this. I would definitely buy this again. In fact, I think the ABH Brow Wiz is one of my favorite brow pencils. From Tree Hut, I used the Candy Cane Scrub. Now these are their Shea Sugar Scrubs. It still smells delicious. I love the Candy Cane one. I love anything minty smell, peppermint smell. So when this came out for holiday last year, I bought like three of them. And a little bit of this goes a very long way, so it took me a while to use it up. But I would absolutely repurchase. I'm actually using another one of the Candy Cane in my shower right now. I use this to exfoliate, especially my elbows, my knees. And whenever I go to self-tan, I exfoliate my entire body. In my opinion, the Tree Hut Sugar Scrub is the best out there and it's super affordable, less than $10. A couple little sample products from Ulta Beauty that came in one of their beauty kits. First, I have their Mattifying Face Primer. I like this. It's a great dupe for the Smashbox Pore Filling Primer. I don't love matte products. You guys know I'm all about the glow. So I used it, but I definitely prefer more of a glowy primer. And then this is their little macadamia nut hand cream. Again, this is one that sat on my desk that I used up. It's okay. I didn't find it to be as hydrating as some other hand creams like the First Aid Beauty, but it smelled really good. Also from Ulta Beauty, another little sample. This is their clear brow gel. Again, clear brow gel is not a product I generally reach for. I prefer a more tinted brow gel, but for clear brow gel, I found that this one worked really well. It held my brows in place all day and it's super affordable because it's the Ulta brand. Here's a product that I am obsessed with. I love this so much. This is the Milani Super Charged Under Eye Brightener. This is in the shade 120 Peach. I love this product. I love this. This lasts forever. I have probably had this tube for a year and I just repurchased this. I'm using it again. I love this for my under eye. So what I do is add a little bit of hydration under my eye with some eye cream in the morning and then I tap this in and it gets rid of any discoloration. I use this under my eye, on my eyelid. It is such a fantastic product. It layers excellent under makeup. And again, it just color corrects. I love it. Love, love, love. Here's another little primer sample that I used up on a recent little trip to San Diego. This is from the brand Smashbox and this is their primer riser. This was a great primer. Again, I found that it added hydration, layered well under makeup. Is it my favorite primer? No. So I probably wouldn't repurchase, but I'm glad that I got to try a Smashbox primer that wasn't their mattifying pore filling primer. I also used this up on my little 
trip to San Diego. And this is from the brand Philosophy. And this is their Micro Delivery Derma Peel. So this is a serum. I really liked this. I will say that the smell is a little interesting. It kind of smells like a really, really tart berry, like a cranberry scent. I didn't love the smell, but the product worked really well. I applied this at night, and when I woke up in the morning, lots of hydration on my face, and I felt like I had this kind of fresh layer on my skin. So yes, I would absolutely buy the full size of this. In fact, it's on my list to pick up the next time I need a good serum. An eyelash serum from Grande Lash MD. Now, I received these small ones in a subscription box, I think I had two or three of them. I've now used them all up. This eyelash serum is okay. I know that there are some better ones out there. I really like the Lash Food, so I'll link that one down below for you. It was okay. I mean, I noticed a visible difference in my lashes, and to be honest, this little kind of sample size one lasted me for well over a month. I apply an eyelash serum every night before bed, so it can really get in there and work to lengthen my lashes. Like I said, I've noticed exponential increase in length volume and darkness of my lashes using an eyelash serum. This one I would say is probably number two on my list with lash food being number one. I'll link both down below for you. I've shared this product on my channel before. I really, really like this. This is from the brand Pixie and this is their Glow Tonic Toner. I took this with me on my trip, used it up, I love this toner. I love toner in general. I put it on before I apply any morning skincare. So it's part of my morning skincare routine. This one I like because it's drugstore, it's affordable, and it's glowy. So it definitely adds a glow to your skin. I'm currently using the Good Molecules Glowing Toner. And spoiler alert, it's really, really, really good and affordable as well. But I really enjoy the Pixie Glow Tonic. And last but not least from the brand Elemis, I have their Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser use this on my trip as well. I really enjoy this cleanser. And honestly, we get this all the time in subscription boxes, all the time, especially glossy box look fantastic. Elemis is a great brand. It's an expensive brand. So I never complain when it shows up in my subscription box. And you know that I love these kind of small ones for travel. This is a great product and I definitely would buy the full size. That was a lot of empties. I am really proud of myself that I used all this up. I have quite the makeup collection, quite the skincare collection. I'm kind of a makeup and skincare junkie. So I always have lots of products on hand. I am really proud of myself for using all these up. It feels really good to be able to recycle all of this and know that I'm using what I have on hand. I found some really good favorites, some fails, but a lot of what I shared with you this month, I absolutely love and would definitely repurchase. Don't forget that everything will be linked down below for you. And if you enjoyed another empties, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed because again, I do an empties every month and I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. Check out the description box for all the products, my favorite beauty subscriptions, the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you'd like to recreate this look. And last but not least, come on over, follow me on TikTok for more beauty on a budget. Cheers to the June empties, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!